So we, uh, we continue, uh, quote, Now this obicus is the noble truth concerning the origin of suffering. Verily, it is that craving which causes the renewal of existence, accompanied by sensual delight, seeking satisfaction now here, now there, the craving for the, the gratification of the passions, the craving for a future life, and the craving for happiness in this life. Quote. So, the origin of suffering. Quite interesting, this one too. Can you can you see suffering? I mean, okay, we can see it in uh, some pictures of people, others, or ourselves when we cry, when we have suffering. But most of the times, if we observe ourselves, okay, maybe a bad situation comes. And we are psychologically in hell, in hell. So when at some point this stops because uh, nothing is permanent. So when this stops, what can we do? We might, for example, a, an event comes and we get depressed at that moment. Something that depression, depression, uh, almost everyone has depression now. So something uh, depresses us, makes us to be depressed, and we suffer, and we are going into a room, and many people, have, uh, this is a characteristic of depression, that you cannot uh, go up from the bed, you just lay in bed, suffering, maybe you don't even want the light in a very dark room, uh, but um, truly, if we observe ourselves at this moment, we can say, where is suffering now? Can we see it in a dark room where we feel depressed? Can we see suffering? Where is it? We might have everything. We might have a bed to sleep. We might have a job. We, we might have uh, money and friends and we suffer deeply. We, we might also have teachings and we continue Suffering, why? Is, is suffering something that we can see, that we can taste? No, suffering is in our head. Suffering is in our thoughts, in our feelings. Uh, and of course, we, uh, we project it in our body. And then also our body suffers. So this is what master, uh, the teaching from Master Samadon, all the great masters that uh, have uh, uh, come uh, in this planet who say that uh, uh, suffering, it's, uh, it's in our head. You cannot, you, ca you cannot touch suffering. So uh, what, you cannot taste it and, and it's right there uh, with you in your bed when you suffer and it's a feeling from a dark feeling from below from the underworld we can say but as the buddha is saying what makes us suffer it's the craving it's the craving for happiness it's the craving for what we think that will make us happy it's satisfaction seeking satisfaction sensual delight the passions the future the past 
All this makes us suffer when we are in our bed, lying depressed. Suffering, we suffer either for a past condition or either for a future condition. We never suffer at the moment. If we are at the moment, there can be no suffering. And now we continue, quote, This is then, obicus, is the noble truth concerning the origin of suffering. Now this, obicus, is the noble truth concerning the destruction of suffering. Verily, it is the destruction in which no passion remains. Of this very thirst, it is the laying aside of the being free from the dwelling no longer upon this thirst. This then, obicus, is the noble truth concerning the destruction of suffering. Quote, here we have the destruction of suffering and it says in which no passion remains. Quite interesting. We recommend you at this point to read the book of Master Samuel Anver, The Three Mountains, because this is an uh, initiate, initiatic, uh, also an initiatic um, process. That, um, and we, uh, we also uh, invite you to our 22 courses that we study uh, the, the mysteries of initiation, what uh, initiation true means. And, and uh, this is uh, an initiatic uh, process uh, between uh, the first and the second mountain uh, when the initiated uh, annihilates uh, passion and is working uh, towards annihilating uh, passion. So um, then we have the distraction, the distraction of suffering. It's not just uh, the elimination. It, the ego must be uh, there. There must be a distraction. It's a very uh, Samaelic uh, because Master Samael Anvor uh, is um, uh, is the master of uh, strength. Is the master of uh, Mars and uh, what it repre represents. So uh, he's also uh, uh, this is uh, we can say in a part uh, Martian uh, tactic. Uh, because uh, we must a hundred percent if we want to be happy uh, to devote ourselves towards annihilating annihilating towards the destruction total destruction a hundred percent destruction of the ego in order to be able to be happy and to make other people uh, happy so why distraction? How can we uh, distract, uh, the, uh, provoke the distract uh, of uh, the ego? Why to distract it? Uh, to to make to annihilate it. Um, in order to annihilate, uh, I hope I'm using the correct words to to eliminate, not an, to uh, I think eliminate. Anyway, to the, for the ego to die. To be able to <laughs> to be sure that the words I'm using are correct, uh, to be able uh, the ego to uh, to die, uh, we when we do this we begin to control ourselves. Now as uh, the ego um, uh, is on, we don't have control over ourselves. For example, we feel uh, fear, uh, fear. Uh, controls our body and we tremble. We feel uh, depressed, uh, fear controls our emotions and we feel helpless. We feel anger, anger uh, controls ourselves, our body, our emotions, our thoughts uh, and we feel tension. There is tension everywhere in our feelings, in our thoughts in um, and uh, in our actions. We do uh, a lot of stress that we provoke through anger. And we must uh, be able to uh, control ourselves uh, minute by minute, hour by hour, with all these techniques that are given by the masters, with the key of soul um, that we have said um, in previous lectures, uh, by observing ourselves, uh, by self-observation, self 
And uh, when we feel fear, uh, depression, anger, we we can step by step because it takes a lot of work, a lot of efforts, efforts, conscious efforts to go against our own selves, uh, to control, to be able to control, at least to be able to control the ego. So uh, we think many times, we think we are better than the others. We think we are higher, uh, more elevated than the others. We think that we are always craving uh, for a positions uh, in our job uh, to be something and uh, I don't know, uh, an administrative uh, in an officer and maybe someone very important we always seek to be someone important all this is uh, are causing us to suffer all, all this our ego ego uh, must uh, die we must die from moment to moment and in order to be happy in order to uh, have less burden. So we continue. Quote, Now this, Obicus, is the noble truth concerning the way which leads to the destruction of sorrow. Verily, it is this noble eightfold path that is to say, right views, right aspirations, right speech, right behavior, right livelihood, right effort, right thoughts, and right contemplation. This, then, obicus, is the noble truth concerning the destruction of sorrow. By the practice of loving kindness, I have attained liberation of heart, and thus I am assured that I shall never return in renewed births. I have even now attained nirvana. Code. So here we have the eightfold uh, path, uh, which was given uh, from the uh, Buddha from uh, Siddharth uh, Gaudama uh, in order to liberate uh, all beings from suffering. It, it has a strong connection with the Kabbalistic tree of life. Uh, if we think, if we encounter uh, that uh, the right speech is the three logos of the Kabbalistic uh, tree of life, Keter, Chokmah, Binah, then we can also find the other uh, seven, the other seven aspects in uh, the tree of life. So it's like uh, paramita and uh, the virtues, meditation, and wisdom, which is sila, dhyana, prana. Uh, it all this can lead us. Uh, can take us away from uh, suffering and uh, from doing the same things again and again and falling in the same uh, faults, doing the same faults again and again all the time. There are many uh, translations for the Eightfold uh, Path, uh, some words uh, change. Uh, at the current moment, we have we have found and provided this uh, translation of the of this uh, sutra. Uh, 